Yada, 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 guys. It's your boy Falcon Fan. Oh, Name Popcorn Falcon 798 here with a food review. Now, I'm going to be reviewing this bad boy an English Twinkie. Um, I've always wanted to try one, and it does so happen that they bring them over into England. And this is the English version, so I don't know what it's going to be like in comparison to the American version. Um, my fiance's also got one, but she doesn't want to be in the video today. Um, so it's just going to be me to try the first one. Um, so yeah, this is also what's coming to my review, my channel, reviews. So uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. I'll see you in a minute with... Well, the review of the drinking and also taste of the Russell Burger. See, they still hold up after a few years. All right, guys, catch you in a few minutes. Hey, guys, I'm back. I've got my coffee. Um, not quite finished yet, almost. Um, now, why am I doing these reviews before I get into trying it? Why am I doing it? Well, and that's because the last year. Um, I've been doing Google reviews, and I've got about 45 of them up now, and sound of the same name, Found Popcorn 798, if you want to check them out. And I've been doing really quite well on them. My photos, some of my photos on there have got like over 20,000 views. So I thought, why not try to bring it to my channel and see where it goes? And, and I thought the first thing to try is the Rustler Burger and the Twinkie Bar, which the English edition at least. Um, and it'll give, at least me give, at least give me a taste as to what it could be. Um, got, uh, coffee, which is very nice. Um, now, I actually put the cheese the wrong way around, sorry, at the bottom. Um, it was burning me and I forgot, sorry, it happens. Um, but anyway, let's get into the Rustler cheeseburger. Um, I toasted the buns instead of putting them in white quay. Who wants floppy buns, right? I mean, I, I know I don't. <laughs> so I toasted them while they microwave them. So let's give this a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Nice, not too bad. The, um, not going to be obviously a proper burger where you, what you get at, like a supermarket or anything, but, or well not a supermarket, like a McDonald's or anything, but for a pound burger, mmm, what you heat up in the microwave and just toast up, mmm, not bad, I was worthy of a second bite, that was very nice, now let's move on to the all glorious, the second one, the chicken burger variant. Now, the sauce burger packets were actually quite annoying to open, actually. So, it's your ear. I'm holding one thing in one hand and the recorder device in the other hand. <laughs> um, it's actually quite annoying to open, actually. Um, it kind of splashed everywhere. <laughs> so, um, but no, it doesn't have any cheese or anything. It's just chicken burger um, sauce. As you can see, a bit of a messy thing. So let's give it a go to see what is it like compared to the cheeseburger one. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. I don't like things about my mouth, guys. I don't like it, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but no, nice bun action. Not too bad. Again, same thing with the cheeseburger. Chicken is nice and moist. Um, surprisingly, coming from a two minute microwave job, job. Um, but no, I thought not bad for, for a quid. Uh, I'm going to try go in for a second bite. Mm. Mm. I think I prefer the cheeseburger over over the Chicken burger, but there's a bit more to it. Um, but for a couple of burgers like that, for a, just about a quid, there's no, you can't complain really. Uh, you, you know if it's going to be as good as like a takeaway place or a restaurant or anything, or one that you make fresh from home. But for a little quid burger, 
You can't go wrong. Mm. And they're tasty. Now, the all important one, the English variant of the Twinkie. Now, I've always wanted to try one of these. And the last ages, they've never come across one really. Oh wow, it even looks like it, in the, it even looks like one. Is that how it would look? Um, one would be like, uh, looks like it would be how it would look like what I see in the movies. And they're being over there, so into America. I always want to go, and it's one of the first places I will go when I can, but. I've never been there, and this is what I think they look like. I think they're a bit more round though at the bottom instead of flat. Um, and why? Well, let's give it a go and see what it's like. Mm. To me, it's kind of very reminiscent of the Swiss log that we get here. Um, Got a sponge bit with a bit of cream inside, um, or the Yule log, or one of those kind of cake thing that you get. Um, nice. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, the sponge is moist. The cream, a bit disappointed about the cream. I mean, that's the inside there, guys, as you can see. It's not too bad. Um, I was hoping for a bit more of a cream feeling there. I think it, it um, well, no, it's not too bad actually. Uh, you just want a little something on the go, don't you? Do you? Uh, all the ah, sorry, English sometimes you just want a little something on the go, a little sweet treat, and if that, if that, if this is all you want. It's gonna do the job, isn't it? So, I Quite enjoyed that and the um, two Russell burgers. It makes me think that if that's the at least the English version. Is this the English version? It says American Foods 1950. Is, um, in a second, let me just straighten this out. As you can see, there it says American Foods. So maybe this is the actual Twinkie. Who knows? Let's bought it over. Um, but yeah, no, 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 not too bad. Um, so let me know down below, um, what you want me to try and review. And it's the first thing that came popped in my head. Um, it's a nice little pleasant meal there. Um, you can't complain for a burger for about a quid, can you, really? Um, especially with stuff that comes with sauce, but sauces and buns and all that. Can't complain. Um, and all can you complain for for a cake for about 50p, really? So, let me know down below what you want me to try next. And I'll try and try it for you. Try and get it. Um, and until next time, guys, stay popping, stay fresh, and ciao for now.